across a countless life. the uh, source of this disturbance, we face the destruction of the world. Tell you, Colton, all disturbance is caused by the variations in the orbit of the moon. And I repeat, Reynolds, not the moon, but the sun. Sun. Oh, don't be absurd. New spots on the sun could remain undetected, but something must be causing these flood tides and earth shocks. Just a promotion scheme. I tell you, gentlemen, my instrument will not fail. I'm getting it. Gentlemen, I'll stake my life on it. The center of this disturbance is here. But that is unexplored territory. Granted, but that is where it is. That's absurd. To find nothing but jungle, rough country. I believe in you and your discovery. But what is the next step? To go there, find the source of this disturbance, and stop it. Go ahead, Bruce. Count on me for everything you need. You will lack nothing. The resources of the entire nation are at your disposal. Thank you, Commodore. Thank you, General. I shall prepare an expedition at once. If you succeed, you and all your associates will deserve the gratitude of the world. Gordon, allow me to become a member of your expedition. I have believed in you from the first. Thank you, Professor Randall. And I, too, Gordon. And Dr. Cook. Where's your native? <coughs> Natives? 
All gone. <laughs> we were attacked by giants. <laughs> oh. Giants. Why, you were delirious, Chet. Let me get you another slug. I'm not delirious. They were like nothing human. They were too big. Too awful. Now, take it easy, Chet. Take it easy. Where did these giants, as you call them, take your natives? Into the jungle. Towards Magnetic Mountain. Ah, you were saying things. Forget it, my boy. Forget it. Forget it. Welcome, gentlemen. My name is Butterfield. This is my post. Bruce Gordon. How do you do, sir? Colton. Reynolds. Pleasure, sir. Jerry Delaney. How are you, Mr. Delaney? Will you come in and have a little drink? Thanks. Well, this is Mr. Andrews. How are you? Gentlemen, make yourself at home. What brings you here to the heart of Africa? Uh, you may not have heard of the disasters that are wrecking the outside world. Hmm. What is it, another war? You may call it that. The enemy so far has been invisible, and that's what we're here for. Why to this part of the country? This is near the spot indicated by my magnetic detector. You must be speaking about that cursed magnetic mountain. What is this magnetic mountain? A mountain where the blacks... Why, there's a mountain near here full of iron. Sort of a natural lightning rod. Lightning rod? There are, there are horrors there you never dreamed of. Giants. Black giants. The biggest, most terrible creatures you ever saw. Oh, don't mind him. He was the victim of ordinary raiders. Raiders nothing. I tell you, they were giants. And they headed for the mountain. And that night, I saw it flare up like a thousand searchlights. I've got it. Jerry, go set up the detector. This mob may be the center of this disturbance. Right. Come on, Reynolds. Okay. Andrews, you talk too much. already discharged enough electrical energy into the atmosphere to destroy a hundred cities. I'll have this cosmic condenser hold enough power to destroy the world. If I desire it, when I invented these instruments, I did it for the benefit of mankind. Yes! I brought you here to create the things I want. That find me. And you know the consequences. Razo, take Manius to his laboratory. Yes, Master. Ah, 
Apollon, stand by the enlarging machine. Yes, sir. Can't we do something to keep him from creating more living dead men? My dear, unless I obey his slightest wish, he may injure you. Uh, we had better go on. Zolok is watching. for humanity. Put him in the brain destroyer. Yes, master. Go, go, go. as I think. You must obey my command. You are my slave. Avalon, have Mergius brought here. Yes, master. Dr. Manius? The enlarging machine is ready. Oh, Father. Father, must you obey? Nadia, my dear, we are in his power. Just be patient. Come, Doctor.
arise. You are my slave. Your name is Fear. <clears throat> Garzo, the emblem of the lost city. Yes, Master. Do as Garzo tells you. <clears throat> Take him to his quarters. Yes, Master. Come. Avalon, bring another subject. Yes, Master. how you can be so heartless. Zolak is my master. Why is he your master? He promised to make a man of me like other men. Big, strong. Yes. Make you a living dead man like those poor slaves. No. No. You'll see. Turn on the switch. somewhere in this neighborhood. Turn on the amplifier. Yes, master. Mountain, all right. Just the place we're looking for. What about you now, Bruce? We'll start at once. Those strangers have located my lost city. They must be stopped. Get up along, quick. Yes, Master. No, don't talk to me of marriage again. The Master calling Apollon to the control room at once. You'll change your mind. about marriage again. Stop it here. I just had some big news. White men are coming this way. White men? Yes, yes. From outside? Yes. They're coming here? Yes, sir. Oh, if I could only warn them of their peril. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no Father. Yes, yes. They'll help us escape. Unless they also become Zola's victims. Butterfield must have talked. Butterfield? Ah, oh, he wouldn't dare talk. He wouldn't dare mention our presence here. You know why. What are your plans, Master? Trap them in the hut of the mysterious voice. Get everything ready. Yes, Master. Take a squad of giants and deploy them around the hut. And capture those white men? Yes. If they escape the trap, 
Yes, master. Come to the control room. I'm not going. But you must. You better go, my dear. you fellas. We're on our way and getting close. Yeah, and getting hot. Bruce, I don't like the look of things. Andrews may have been right about the giants. Too many of our blacks have deserted already. Just the same, we're going on. call for help. When I say go ahead and keep screaming and calling for help. Help. Scream. Understand? Yes. Bridgie, give your men a rest. Oh, what? Go ahead. Help. Please help. Hurry! Hey, it sounds like a white ghost voice. Help! Please help! Come on, Jerry, let's find out. I'll tell you what we'll do. So this. Move! 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 That must be the place. Come on, let's go. It's inside. Thought sure that voice came from here. Bruce, this is a haunted hut. <laughs> Coney Island. <laughs> that cry was human. That laugh. The laugh of a madman. It's a nut house. I'm gonna get out of here. Bruce. Where does that light come from? Nothing to do with that girl's cry for help. I'm going to get out of here. No, we've got to find that girl. Come on. Look, a 
statue. No, it isn't. It's flesh and blood. One of those giants Andrew spoke about. Look, there's more of them. Giants or no giants, we've got to find that girl. Subway, don't it? Yes, it does. Bruce, another door. Come in. Gentlemen, this is indeed a pleasure. May I ask who you are? My name is Zola. I'm the master of this place. Where are we? You're in the lost city of the Ligurians. As you may know, the Ligurians were master scientists. I'm the last of that race, carrying on the electromagnetic traditions of my people. Jerry, I'm right. We found it. What do you mean by that statement? Your electrical experiments have been causing disasters throughout the entire world. Well, then I'm beginning to accomplish my purpose. You speak as one who is familiar with electricity also. Are you... I'm an electrical engineer. Your name? Bruce Gordon. Jerry Delaney. Perhaps you'd like to look over some of my electrical equipment. Uh, yes, if we may. Avalon, have one of my slaves show these gentlemen the city. Yes, Master Zolak. We'll go. Show these gentlemen around. <laughs> I want that detector he's invented. And I'll use his knowledge for my own purposes. But he is not like Manius. There isn't a daughter to hold over his head as a threat, Master Zolak. He'll do as I say, or I'll put him in the enlarging machine. I'll control his brain, even if I have to make him a white giant. Are you the girl that cried for help? Yes, but I was tricked into doing this. We can't stay here. You come with me while we have a chance. Yes, but how about that giant? Oh, he'll keep going. You follow me. Come. This is my father's laboratory. Bruce Gordon, Dr. Manus, my assistant, Jerry Delaney. Manus, in regard to those two strangers that just entered your laboratory, the man Gordon is an electrical engineer. How does he know we're here? Television. He's invented a magnetic detector. Is there no way to shut that off? I have short circuited him. Quick now, while we have a little privacy. 
Could he hear as well as see us? Oh, yes. Television's so highly developed that he can see and hear anything within a radius of a thousand miles. Then he saw us at the trading post, operating our detector. Yes. How do you know he's not looking at us now? Oh, I secretly invented this instrument to shut him off temporarily. I was kicked in delivering them here. We must save them. Forget that. We'll help each other. Doctor, we came here to determine what has been causing these electromagnetic disasters throughout the world. And now that you have found out, we're going to stop it. Yes, yes. We must. Master, here are the two men we captured in the jungle. Bring them in. Master Zola. Master, what shall we do with them? What do we always do with spies? We're, We're not, not spies. spies. What brought you to Africa? Find the source of certain electrical disturbances and correct them. A very ambitious undertaking. Your information interests me. Gentlemen, sit down. Doctor, why haven't you and your daughter tried to escape from Dolok's power before? Only one man ever escaped from Zolok. This place is guarded by a hundred different death-dealing devices. Oh, if you can help us to get away, we'll be grateful to you for life. Where is this amplifier you told me about? In the powerhouse attached to one of the dynamos. Take me to it. It must be destroyed. Oh, this black giant has instructions to keep me in this room. I'll take you. He, he, he won't bother me. You'd risk this danger? Of course. I'd do anything to get away from here. What if Zolok discovers it through his television? Uh, my control will take care of that. Jerry, you stay here with Dr. Manus. We'll be right back. Mm. If Gordon and his assistant are all you say they are, I'd better let them go no further. Avalon, join Gorzo and have the enlarging machine made ready. Yes, Master. They can match their wits against Zorak, the mass of the world. Manus! Manus! What have you done to my television machine? Manus! And you're no better than they are. You're mistaken. We're not friends of Bruce Gordon. That's the truth, Zorak. I swear to it. Silence! Get out! Gordon and his assistant. Gordo, 
Bring Mathis and Natchez to the control room. This is the new freezing gun I secretly invented. It freezes every range of etheric vibration. Light. Power. Life itself. Huh. It's quite a contraption, isn't it? Hugo, come. Dr. Manius, the master wants you. But he's not gone. Hugo, seize him! Hugo, go to your post outside the door. The young electrical wizard. Thought you were smart enough to fool me, eh? Zulak, my efforts are for the good of humanity. And I'm not going to stop until I destroy this place. I'm going to do a little destroying myself. When I get through with you and the ivory hunter there, you'll be slaves of my will. Living dead men. Give it up, Roast. I'll be right with you. Give me that old hay mix. Come on, Jordan. That's the dumb. Pause.
so glad. My, that was a narrow escape. It sure was. Now see if we can find your father. Yes. Yes. Hebelo. Zorak calling. I'm in the dungeon. Apollon, Gozo, quick, I'm in the dungeon. I'm coming, Master Zola. Brut, Brut's father's gone. I wonder what could have happened to him. Oh. Where are you going, Master? I must find him. You wait here. Jerry, now I'll find your father. Come on, Jerry. Corso, I'm in the dungeon. Why don't you open the door? You know the combination. It's your own invention. Who oh, are you to give me orders? I'm coming, Master Zoloff. What about us? Yes. Will you stay here? I'll have you out in a minute, Master. Master Zolak. Find them and get those other two that just left here. Yes, Master. Come over. Gozo, to your post. Yes, Master. There goes Manus. Follow him. We can get him out of the lost city. The scientific knowledge will be worth a fortune to us. Come on. Bruce, I can't find him anywhere. We've got to find him. I was so worried. Uh, where is Bruce Gorton and his assistant? Why, they're out looking for you. Well, gentlemen, you've startled us. Are you perhaps members of the Bruce Gorton party? Yes, uh, this is Professor Reynolds. I'm Dr. Colton. I am Dr. Manus. This is Nadja, my daughter. We are looking for a way out of here. Can you help us? Perhaps. How? Through the tunnel. But, Father, the tunnel door is charged with high voltage. It, it means certain death. Not with my new freezing gun. It destroys high voltage, paralyzes all electrical energy. Fine. Let me have that gun. No, no, no. It's too dangerous. I must operate it myself. Where does the tunnel lead to? To the jungle. We'll go find Bruce and Jerry. And I'll go with you. And I, too. Dr. Manius, sir. We had better stay here in case the boys return. Did you find him? No, Mac. Where's your father? Where's your father? He's in his laboratory. Apollon, bring Magnus to my office. Yes, ma'am. I want the truth. Have you given these strangers any information about my city? I'm no scientist. You can't deceive me. I'll get the truth out of you. Don't be a fool, Bruce. Can't you see that that girl's in cahoots with Zolak? We'll find out. Come on.
from now on. I'll tell you. We'll go back to the laboratory. Perhaps Dr. Manus can tell us how to open this door. Come on, let's go. I'm going to photograph your thoughts in the record chart. And if you've lied to me, this is a devitalizer. Dr. Manus, you have made amazing discoveries. Yes, yes, yes. Come, Doctor. Bruce, Jerry, and your daughter are waiting at the tunnel entrance. Nat just said not to forget the freezing gun. Why didn't you get the gun? Manius absolutely refused to even let me see it. Now, Jadia, Reynolds and Colton want me to meet you at the tunnel entrance. In case of error, meet me there. Now, Jadia, Reynolds and Colton want me to meet you at the tunnel entrance. We've got to get out of here. Come on, come on. How dare you treat me like this? We're doing it for your own good. Come on, boy. I guess we're lost, Bruce. This place all looks alike to me. We'll find Manius's laboratory if it takes all day. Dr. Manius, is it safe to go through? Absolutely. But my daughter and your friends, we can't leave without them. They'll be along presently. Come. Where's Dr. Menus? Release me and I'll tell you. Speak up. Where is he? <laughs> Call and Randall took him away. So you think your new friends are going to escape, eh? I'll fix that. Quick, Jerry, before we're trapped! Stay there in the chair and learn to speak the truth. If I only had a crowbar! That won't do the trick. Wait. Where's your light key? I don't know what you mean. Do you don't have a light key. Get him, Tony. Get down. Come on. Get him. I got it. Right got here. That's why. Right. Here we are. That's it. Now, let's get, get out of here. Reynolds and Colton take your father. Isn't he still in his laboratory? We didn't see him there. Only Apple aren't sure he was all tied up. 
Well, it's fine, Father. Father. This. Boats and strangers, you captain. Quick and tie me. Apollon, Gorzo, attention. Man has just escaped through the charge door. Apollon, you take the giants and capture them. And send Gorzo here at once. Natya, dear. Father left me a message. Watch. Natya, dear. Reynolds and Colton want me to meet you at the entrance. In case of error, meet me there. Do you know where it is? Yes. It's at the end of corridor 10. Let's go. They've gone on. Then they're waiting for us outside. We must follow. Well, that's the freezing gun my father invented to nullify the electric charge on the door back there. Looks like it's broken. It is. Oh, it's no use to us now. Let's hurry. Come, we'll go. Dr. Manus. He's the one that's captured your men and made them brainless slaves. Me did it. Manus, I leave you to the vengeance of these people for all you've done to them and to me. But let me explain. Silence. To the order of sacrifice. Uh, yeah. Avalon. Zola calling. Avalon. Can I be of any assistance, Master Zola? Apollon, Manius is being tortured to the order of sacrifice. Go, rescue him. Yes, master. Come, we'll go. What are those drums? They're the drums of death. The drums of death? 
What do you mean, Natcher? Someone's being tortured by the natives. Let's hurry and find out who it is. Right, you are. Come on. Come on. Come on. Butterfield, if Manus dies, I'll destroy your entire tribe. Well, so we have company, eh? Cowardly renegade. Why did you have your black sack on? You're lucky you're not in the same spot as the old scientist. What do you mean? What has happened to him? <laughs> the guest of honor, a little ceremonial offering. But don't let that bother you. Let's drink to his health. <laughs> <laughs> Turn on switch, that you want. Yes, master. <laughs> Oh, shave. I'll take a match. Come on. Die, doctor. Who go? Come. You all right? Well, take it easy, doctor. Everything will be all right now. Oh, 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 oh. Is this true? What if it is? Butterfield, if you cause this man suffering, you're going to pay. <coughs> well, he tortured my natives, didn't he? My father was not to blame for that. He was under the power of Zolak. That's the truth, Butterfield. Ask them. They know. They were in the lost city. Oh. Come on, Doctor. Father. Butterfield, this man has got to have immediate attention. All right. Take him to my quarters. Come on, Doctor. You're all right, Father, dear. Tell you, Reynolds, Butterfield's a dangerous man. I know it. We must be careful what we say. All right. Listen here, Butterfield. Sit down. I want to have a little chat with you. So you were in the lost city. What do you know about it? Well, 
Nothing. Didn't you see him making their giants? No. We weren't there long enough. You're lucky. Show these men to the quarters next to mine. You'll be comfortable there. Thanks. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Are you sure you know nothing about the lost city? Absolutely. Of course you're right, my boy. Look, Bruce, it's just fit. <laughs> I think it isn't so far away after all. Where did you get that? Oh, in the other room in there. Well, it just fits. Yes. Are you sure, Doctor, that Reynolds and Colton forced you to leave the lost city? Yes. These men are not to be trusted. Yeah, let me tell you that Butterfield isn't our only enemy. Bruce, we must get away. Don't worry, Natcha. Come on, Jerry. What are you going to do? I'm going to talk to Reynolds and Colton. I'll be right back. We've got to get Manus away from here before Butterfield learns that he can restore the mental powers of those giants. There goes Gordon toward the trading post. I wonder if man has told him how we forced him to leave the lost city. We'll have to convince Gordon that the old man's out of his mind. We'll have to work fast. I tell you, I heard the old man say he could not only restore the minds of these living dead men, but he could make giants with full mental power. With a regiment of men like that, Africa is mine. Well, how's the old doctor? He's getting a little better. That's fine. Can you tell me what hut I can find Professor Reynolds and Dr. Colton? Oh, yeah. They're over there. Thanks. Come on, Jerry. Say, what's the idea of fooling those guys? Colton's in that hut over there. You're so dumb. Get you. Well, that's that. But how about Colton and Reynolds? I'll take care of them. I've got it. You fix it with the natives, and I'll get the girl out of the way. You know, Andrews, if I can get into the lost city and get Zolok out of the way, and then what? I'll bring the old man back with me, and I'll make all the giants I need. That's right. You could. Yeah. That's just what I'll do. Well, Zolak ordered me to report to you. He said you would find use for this paralyzing gun. Be careful. It is very dangerous. dangerous. Stand by. I'll go to the village and get Manius. I'm so sorry, Dad. But it, it, it's much better than, than being with Zolak, isn't it? Bruce wants to see you. But where is he? He's at the trading post, pre preparing to leave. But, Father... Oh, uh, I'll stay here with him. Why, well, I'm all right. You better go. Well, I won't be long. You stay here. Got an idea. Wall open. I think I can make it. Come on. All right. Come here. As far as I can roll, oh, Jerry. Right now. You know.
know the trail, Fungo? Yep. Come on up. All right. Get going. Fungo! Fungo! said he was waiting here to see me. Well, he's not here. Well, that's strange. I don't understand. Chet, those birds are up to something. Come on. Phew. And they call this Africa, huh? What a spot. Wait a minute, what's this one? You making any headway there, Jerry? Just a minute. That Butterfield's supposed to be a white man. Not me. Our guy's just yellow. Got a native, I suppose. Yeah. What happened? Colton. The natives took him. Nine years. Yeah. Get the natives. Time to pick up my trail. All right. Oh, well, if you can get that other one. Jerry, I... Well, yeah, maybe I can help you. Hold it That's good. Oh, boy. Here, I get over there. Mr. Butterfield! Mr. Butterfield! You stay here. You hit Butterfield Trail. All right. Ooh. Oh, Bruce. Reynolds is dead. What? Who killed him? Colton. Oh, and father's gone, too. Then Colton's got your father. Come on. No, you don't. Lead this way. Come on. Uh. Where's your father? I don't know. You remember when you're in the lost city?
friend. Whose camp is this? Benelli's. Benelli here? Take me to him. Alaba. Field. How are you, Chief L.A.? Sit down. What brings you here this time of year? I'm looking for slaves. Giant slaves. Giant slaves? What do you mean? I've heard that giants twice the size of ordinary slaves have been seen here. <laughs> My dear chief, somebody's been kidding you. You mean no such giants exist here? I have no reason to lie to you. Then my long journey has been in vain. It sure looks that way. Refreshments. Jerry, Rose, where have you been? I like at last. Did you find any trace of Dr. Menus? No, but I ran across this bunch of Arabs here. Maybe Butterfield's natives have found him and taken him back to the village. We must go and find out. No, I better go alone. It'll be safer for you to go back to the Arab camp with Jerry. I'll bring your father there. Uh, Bruce is right, Natcha. Please be careful, for my sake. I will, Natcha. Come on, Mahala. Let's go. Come on. Mm. Apollo. Apollo answering, Master Zolak. Where's Manus? I believe he's in the native village. Well, get him here at once. White man and woman outside. Bring them in. These people are friends of mine. The father of the young lady is uh, uh, an explorer. I wondered what such a beautiful girl was doing in a jungle. Apollon! Apollon! This is Apollon. Manus and Corso have been captured by the Arabs. They're in Zone 15. Find them. Yes, Master.
you will excuse me. I will be back soon. Say, what's the idea of lying about Magnus being an explorer? I had to lie. Manella is a slave trader. He's here to get the giants from the lost city. If he finds out that your father can create giants, he'll take him to the slave coast. Oh. I speak to you privately. About what? A matter that may mean a fortune to you. Well? The old man over there is the greatest scientist in the world. He is the man who creates giants out of ordinary natives. So my friend Butterfield lied to me. Butterfield? He's a dangerous man, Chief. He wants to get the old scientist for himself. I see. We can work together. Have the old man make slaves for us and become rich. My men will take care of you. Thank you. Who has <laughs> I have provided attendance for you. Thank you. My friend, one moment. Sit down. As you say, no giants exist here. They don't exist. I swear it. My good friend Borafir would not lie to Ben Alai. I know. Of course. Oh, of course. A little more tea, eh? Thanks. No more tea. Will you have a little liquor? No liquor, sir. Could I have a little tea? A very well, sir. Get out of this camp. The Arab chief intends to keep you a prisoner. To make giants. I suspect as much. I have a plan. Bruce is looking for you. He has the light gun. And if I can find him, he might be able to help us. Be careful. We may be watched.
What's the idea? It is not wise to lie to Benali. Match? Sit down. Tell me, how these old men make giant slaves? Menus alone has the secret. How do I know all this is true? I've seen him do it. How am I going to be taken care of on this deal? Oh, I'll show you. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> you asked to be taken care of. Go. What are you trying to put over on me? The same thing you try to put over on me. Listen, my natives know that I'm here. And if anything happens to me, they'll wipe you out. I'm not afraid of your natives. Do you know a man named Kulton? Yeah. I know the double-crosser. What about him? Oh, my men are taking care of him. Try to double cross me. <laughs> Here, Butterfield did say you can't go into post. I say you're going in and have a drink with me. That's right, Butterfield. With Dr. Manus in our hands, we can make millions. Well, Gordon, I'm glad to see things my way. There's no question that we stand a chance to make millions. What? Go on, beat it. Butterfield's in there. Go on. And I think, Butterfield, we ought to cut Andrews in on this. I wish he was here now so we could settle the whole matter. I got you covered, Andrews. Cross over to that table and sit down. Whoa, what's the big idea? Uh, How did you get here? Never mind where I come from. The big idea is where is Butterfield and Dr. Manus? Where are they? Uh, I thought Butterfield was in this room. That's what you thought. You, you tricked me. Come on, come on, where are they? Andrews, I'm asking you for the last time, where are they? I don't where know.
Nadja, what's the matter? Oh. What are you doing here? I was on my way to get you, and, and the tiger chased me. Well, why did you leave the Arab camp? Father and Gazo are prisoners there. Prisoners? Yes. The Arab chief wants Father to make giant slaves for him. You've got to get your father out of that camp at any cost. Come on. I want to ask you about those giants. Yes? I understand you create Superman. That is true. Then you make the giants and I will sell them. And between us, we can make a fortune. I am not interested in riches. My discoveries were made to benefit these natives, not to destroy them. I have sent for your daughter. Perhaps uh, she can change your mind. The Arab village is down below here. You wait here. Better get back out of sight. You understand, Natcha? It's our only chance. Are you willing to take it? Of course, Bruce. I'd do anything to save my father. You take this. But what about you? I'll be all right. And don't be afraid to use it. I won't. If it's necessary, but, but where will I put it, Bruce? Let's put it right in here. I'll cover it up with a scar. Natasha, you're a brave girl. And you, Bruce. You knew your daughter had escaped. Yes. I knew it and I am thankful for it. <laughs> Take him away. Yes, Master Zolak. Apollon answering. What did you find out? Monius and Gorza were still in the camp. Well, don't leave there until you get them. Yes, Master. White girl back with man. Bring her in. The beautiful girl has come back. Take care of the lady. My name is Bruce Gordon, Bernaldi. I found this girl wandering around the jungle, was half conscious. She mentioned something about a camp, so I brought her here. I'm forever in debt to you for bringing her back. My pleasure, Bernaldi.
shall be my honored guest. Anything you want, just ask for it. Thank you, Benali. Unless you persuade your father to make giant slaves for me, I shall take drastic measures. Oh, no. No, Ben Ali. My father suffered enough. What wilt thou have, thy honorable sap? Jerry, you old... Shh! Not so loud. Oh, baby. Listen, we've got to get Dr. Manus out of here. Yes, but how about natural in that old beast's tent? She's got the paralyzing gun. Oh, well, I hope she starts using it. Beginning on that Bonami guy. Listen now, Quasi, the coast is clear. We've no time to lose. Oh, hurry. Jerry, you take that into the camp. Now look around here. There you come. There you Anyone enters this tent, destroy him. Anyone enters this tent, destroy him. Anyone enters this tent, destroy him. Are you all right? I, I got to slap the jaw there with a foot or something. Listen, we've got to find Dr. Manus. Cut over this way and I'll go this way. Okay, Boots.
thank you. All right, Bruce. Uh, Come on, Bruce, get out of here. Natives are attacking. Now's our chance to find your father. Somewhere in the camp.
Hey, wait till I get this Arab's night shirt off me. Come on, hurry. Good work, Fungo. <gasps> Benavi, where's Dr. Manus? Don't know. Gone. You do know. Don't. Oh. Fungo, eight men. Search jungle. Just one of them. Who are the The rest of you. Come with me. Huh? This way. Who are you? Thick jungle ahead of us, Jerry. We'll have to break a path. I look out for snakes. Look for them. I don't even like them. Come on. Them things that, that hug you to death. That's a python. They won't bother you as long as you keep away from them. from the Arab village. Get him. But, Master, I'm alone. The jungle is full of hostile natives. Get him, I tell you. Get him. Yes, Master. Butterfield, find him.
Look, a giant. How did he get here? People are my friends. Release them! <laughs> These men worship the spider. To destroy one in their presence means death. Dr. Manus. You remember these creatures? They were all black ones. But your magic made them white. Yes, I remember. Uh, huh. Well, look, well, uh, Obama. What does he say? He wants to be made white, too. But I have no serum with me. Ah, Dr. Manius, the chief has a bottle of your serum. Ah, now will you perform the operation? Yes. Prepare him for the injection. Well, ho, ho. We shall proceed. Well, ho, ho, ho. Here you go. <laughs> Long before you were born, my dear. We must not forget to thank Borso for saving our lives. Say, do you know something? I think this guy's got something up his sleeve. Corzo's power over all these strange people makes me suspicious. Well, he seems too much at home with all these Spider-Men. He ought to be. He is one of them. Oh, it makes me shudder to even think of it. I'll see that he doesn't bother you, Natcher. Yes, and me too. Doctor, the subject is ready. Yeah. <laughs> 
Dr. Manius, you're a genius. Sure, it's unbelievable. Science can accomplish anything. Yeah. is doing in my village. Wana, Queen Rama, here. So you've been hitting it up again. Is that the way you manage things when I'm gone? I needed it, Buck. For my snake bite. When the snake bite you? Fifteen years ago. Cut the comedy. Where's Queen Rama? In there. Say, Buck. Who? Who is this Queen Rama? She's the daughter of an Arabian slave trader. What brings you here? What is this tale of black giants and mountains that swallow my men? Those giants are real enough. Ah, impossible. There's a white doctor named Manius who can change our natives into giants. Where is this man, Manius? He's in the village of the Spider-Men. I'd planned to capture him. My natives were afraid to go on. My Wongas, they are not afraid. Not so fast, Queen Rama. With this man use in our power, we can create a race of giants. You mean make giants out of men like these? Sure. Then I could rule Africa. You mean we could rule Africa, Rama? The first thing to do is get this man. I go now myself. Wait. Let me lead you, men. You stay here. How do I know you won't keep this white doctor for yourself? You've known me long enough. I play square. I do that. Go with him. Bring white man to me. Alive. Look up. Stand. <laughs> the white doctor, he makes great magic. Ah, we keep him. He make good medicine man. No. Uh. First, I take him to the lost city. I force him to make me big and strong. Then, I make Natya my wife. But she must not be harmed. We sacrifice the two young white men to our spider god. <laughs> <laughs> Hugo! Hugo! Go! Oh, God. Oh, God. 
Doctor, that's the greatest scientific discovery yet. Bruce! Bruce! They're going to sacrifice you and me to the spider god. What? I just heard Ghost Hotel, the chief. He's going to take Manus to the lost city to make a real guy out of him. And then come back and marry Natcha. What new horror is this? I will not do it. Oh, this is horrible. We've got to stop it. Come on, let's scram. Hugo, capture them. I bet that little shrimp took them to the lost city. We haven't a moment to lose. We've got to stop them before they get there. Stop! Yep, yep. Give me that. Where's your father? I don't know. Don't you lie to me. Since you don't know, maybe you do. Where's Manus? Maybe you can tell. Uh, try and find out. You've been lying to me. <laughs> What's the idea? Men Rama say, white man, no die. 
All right. You win. Go on, take him to my post. I must find Mendes. Here's Monius and Gordo and one of our slaves. Switch on the radio detector. Yes, Master. Gorzo has deserted Manus. Get out there, quick. I'll try to hold the longest off with the static machine. Yes, ma'am. Bringing in Grandpa, the giant maker. You come. So, you were the white doctor. And you steal my name? My inventions were intended to benefit people, not to destroy them. Then you refuse? I must. Never again will I use my science for selfish motives. We talk no more now. You're tired. You rest. Yes. 
you come. Did you have any luck with the old geezer? With the help of that man, and Ruth, What? He turned you down. I'll manage him. Butterfield's got the same idea. I'll manage him too. Remember, not a word to anyone. There's men use even in the village. I got you. You here. White girl, white man, come. Why do you not eat manus? I am worrying about my daughter. What's your daughter? She is safe. She will soon be here. Oh, that will take a great weight off my mind. That is good. Is it true that you can make giants who can keep their own minds? Yes. But Zulok would never permit me to do so. Then if my men were made into giants, they would still know that Rama was their queen? They would. You and I, we will be friends. Rama! There they are. Done well, Butterfield. And you are the great white doctor, man. You? Who? Him? Take them away. Except him. Menus, what have you done with him? Who do you think you are? This is my village. It was your village. Take him to the temple of sacrifice. You're not condemning this man to death. This is Africa. Come. Let me go with him. 
you must let me know if there is anything you need. I have so many things to say to you. Come. Another gun? Yes. Give her to me. Here. I'll fix her. Just what's on your mind? A little later, I will send for you. I'll fix her. Listen, she's got the old man in the hut. She had him there before you got in. So, she's trying to pull a fast one on me, eh? Sure. And she's pulling for the fresh guy. Yeah. And I'll get him at the same time. Come on. I'll take half the force and get the old man. You take the other half and get the girl. Why hamper ourselves with the girl? She's our club over the old man's head. Oh, I see. She's in the hut near the post. I'll go through the opening. I'll take my half and go straight in and get the old man. Come on, half of you follow me. You're coming with me. Where to? Never mind where. Come on. Listen, I've come to get you out of here. 
Come with me, quickly. But what about my father and Bruce? Bruce is wounded at the edge of the village. Your father sent me for you. Well, let's go. No. No, no, no. Oh, here. No. Here, come on. No. No. Now. Now, shut up. You keep your trash shut. Come on, quickly. Where is he? Over there. Nadja! Father! Nadja! Father! <laughs> How dare you treat us in this manner? Release my daughter at once. No harm shall come to her. She's too valuable. <laughs> Providing you agree to make all the giants I want. No! No, Father! No! Follow! <laughs> Tie him up! Butterfield, you're yellow. Yellow clear through. Oh, yeah. <coughs> what are you going to do? You'll see. I may be a bad shot, Gordon. But this is once. I'm not going to miss. about Queen Rama's desire. Where is Manu? Why ask me? I don't know. Quick! Search the jungle! Bring in the old white doctor! <laughs> it's your last chance, Butterfield! Where is Manu? Take him away! You know where! You! The you, I should send to keep Butterfield company. You, I'll take care of in my own way. I'm done. Take them to the village. Take them to the village, both of them. Go on. There he is. Come on. Look up. Hold up. Two. Go.
continue to persecute this girl. Why are you asking me that? I do to those I do not like. Remember that. Come, you must rest. I've located Manus. He's alone, south of the native village, not far from where you are. Capture him. Bring him here. Yes, master. Pocket. A knife. No, not there, the other one. No, that's it. That's it. I don't deserve this good turn from you, Dr. Manus. Human life is a precious thing. I'm afraid mine's not much good. Even yours, my son. Even mine. Well, I'll show you. I know I've been an awful rotter, but I'll show you how grateful I can be. No. Oh, but you're hurt. We can't bother with that now. Come on. We've got to get out of here. Come. Queen Rama, let us drink to our lasting friendship. You mean something more than friendship. I'm sorry, Queen Rama, but that can never be. But why? 
Because a marriage between us would be impossible. I know what it is. It is this creature, Nadia. She doesn't enter into it. Let's leave her out of this silly discussion. Aloka! Stick her out. Give her 20 lashes. Wait. Don't blame her. Blame me. Sit down. Very sorry. Let's have another drink. Shall it be to our friendship? Yes. What happened to me? Come out now, Doctor. We certainly fooled him this time. We must find my daughter. I know right where she is. Leave everything to me. Come, this way. You come now. Where? <coughs> you find out.
white man way. Go! Get him! He must not escape! Go! Get him! Go! Go! Natcha, are you all right, Natcha? You're blind. Quick, quick. Long God, come. Follow. What's all right, darling? Butterfield is our friend. <laughs> Long has come. Quick! Get him to our cave. I'll try to steal the one that's clear. Right here, Bruce. Right here. Right here. It's fine. That's it. Dr. Mangums, can't you do something? What happened to him? Rama took a revenge on Bruce. I can fix him up. Taylor, go get black medicine leaves. When these leaves are boiled, they become an antidote for Rama's blinding potion. Thank you, Butterfield. No fine white girl, white man. No! I think she is going to be all right. I know he's going to be all right. I'm so glad. Thanks to you, Butterfield. Maybe this will make up for some of the rotten things that I've done. Oh, forget it. Oh, it's, it's more than made up for it, Butterfield. I belong. I belong. Apollon listening in. I've located Manus and Natcha in the Yellow Cave. Go there. Bring them back to the lost city. Yes, Master. Come, we'll go. I'm going to see if I can collect my natives and recapture my trading post. I'll go with you. Me go first. 
Queen Rama won't know Kala help. Good. Go. Natchin, you and your father will be safe here. Bruce, I'll be waiting for you. All right, Natchin. Come on, Bruce. Let's go. is waiting. Come. Come back from Mountain of Magic. Maybe White Doctor. Go! Take my fighting men. Go find out. Get out! I must find Jerry. Not that way. There might be a guard there. I'll go over to the stockade and see if I can get him. There's a guard at the door there. Look at him. Oh, that's a boy. That's fine. Oh, that's swell, kid. This time, take Wangas by surprise. Fungo, you take men. Surround Medicine House. I go get Queen Rama. Trading post. Go now. Yes, one now. are my friends. Good work, Bruce. You know, Bruce just told me about you. Yeah. I guess the jungle must have gotten me for a time. Oh, that's all right. Ah, oh, forget it. <laughs> What's going on over there? Fire! Mm -hmm. Bimba! Something's happened. Are you still going to attack? Yes, but you fellas better get back to your cave and... But... Now there's no time to lose. There's no telling what Zolok might be doing. You're right, Butterfield. Come on, Jerry. You better take some of my natives with you. No. They'd only be in the way. We'll make it alone. Come on.
Good work. There's been a struggle. We got here too late. Look! The giants again! We haven't a moment to lose. Come on. Go. Tell Butterfield what happened. I'll follow the trail. But Bruce, I... Go on. Tell him to follow me. Right. Queen Rama's dead. From now on, I rule here. Wonder no take orders from you. See that my orders are obeyed. Yes, one. Butterfield! Oh, Butterfield! What happened? Natcha! The man is captured by the giants. I knew it. Fungo, you stay, watch post. Yes, one. You longer stay here. All the rest of you, come with me. Take him prisoner, too. Magic Mountain. That means they've got him in the lost city. So what are you going to do now? Bust in there and get him out. Atta boy. Come on, I'm with you. Oh, so what's you? Wait man. a minute. I'm a friend. I saw Apollon and the Giants taking Dr. Manus, Bruce, and Natcher to the Lost City. I want to help you. How? I know a way to get in. Through a secret passage. Well, I don't trust that guy. You can trust me. It's your only chance. Zolak lied to me. I'm no longer his slave. All right, we'll take that chance. But remember, if you double-cross us, there's five slugs in there, and they're all for you. Now lead the way. All right, we'll test it. Very well, sir. Master, it's a success. Get the prisoners. Yes, Master. Them. All right. We'll face the music alone. Go ahead. Uh, 
Avalon, give this young electrical genius the seat of honor. Yes, master. Come. Now, how do you like it, Mr. Gordon? <laughs> it's fitting, Dr. Manus, that you should be here to witness the first major experiment of your own invention. The destroying ray. Zolok, spare us this horror. It's no use, Father. He's so cruel. Wait a minute. Are you sure this is the entrance? I know every corner and turn in the lost city. Come. Garzo, we're trusting you. Remember, Zolak is my enemy. Go ahead. Avalon. Is everything ready? Everything, Master. Go ahead. Yes, Master. Hugo, guard those two. You've invaded our city. You've stolen our secrets. There's nothing else to do but seal your lips. You must die. You're a coward, Zolak. Already, Master. Go ahead. What's wrong with the condensers? Yes, sir. The power's off. Great. That'll stop Zolak's booking business for a while. Quick. We've got to get out of here. Your mind. He had no mind to lose. You've got to get Zolak out of the control room, or else. Come on! As for you, you young upstart, Master Zolak, come to the powerhouse, quick! Hugo, stand guard. <gasps> we gotta tie him up. Come on, hurry up! Here. Quick, Here, Harry! Give me that wire up that thing. Come on, wrap him up, good man. Oh, Father, my prayers are answered. What could have worked this miracle? Providence uses its own agents, my dear. Say, which way will he come? Down that corridor. I'll go watch. Comes now. I think you with him. No, he's alone. All right, hi, quick. All right. Public enemy 
number two. What are we doing? Lock him in the steel dungeon. I'll go to the control room. The giants are there alone. They'll obey me. All right. We'll take care of this maniac. Come, Come on, on, Terry. Bruce. Bruce, I can stand this no longer. I'm coming over to release you. Be careful of those giants, Natcha. They're dangerous. Yes. Yes, I know. No! Stop it, I tell you! I am master now! I've evened that score. Oh, that padded fellow just bit that screwy guy. Thank you, Gorgo. Natchez. Bruce, are you all right? I thought sure that was the final curtain. No, but it was the final curtain for Zolak, all right. What's become of him? I owed him a debt and I've paid it off. He won't bother us anymore. You didn't kill him. No, we put him in a cooler. <laughs> oh, the stupid fools. The stupid fools. <laughs> My son, I believe you have accomplished your mission. Not altogether, Dr. Manus. What remains to be done? To render this apparatus useless. It has been causing such worldwide havoc. You're right. Zolak has shown us that these instruments can be a dreadful menace. Gorzo, now that Zolak is out of the way, go tell my natives they have nothing to fear from the lost city. Yes, Mr. Butterfield. <laughs> Our next move is to reach the outside world. Do you happen to have any facilities for broadcasting? I have a short wave transmitter that will carry a message to any part of the world. Just what we need. I will put on the connections now. Would you like to see it, Mr. Butterfield? Very interesting. Yes, I would. Uh, and you, Jerry? Yes. This way, gentlemen. Natcha. Yes, sir. When I've accomplished my mission here, I'm going back home. Will you come with me? Well, yes. Father and I've wanted to go for so long. What I what I mean is, is when we get back, will you marry me? Uh, yes, Bruce. Matt. Matt, you're adorable. Bruce! The doctor's got one of the greatest ultra short wave transmitters I've ever seen in my life. Get on there, he's got it all hooked up. Come on, on this mic, yeah. here. Calling CQ. Calling CQ. Bruce Gordon Expedition, Center of Africa. Calling CQ. Come in, please. Do you think they will? Sure, get it. Cape Town to Cairo Airways. Ship P 15. Answering Bruce Gordon. Go ahead, please. Bruce Gordon Expedition, speaking from the lost city, center of Africa. <laughs> now we shall see who's the master. In demolishing this apparatus of worldwide destruction, we have accomplished the second object of our mission. Most of the marvels of the lost city are due to the genius of a Dr. Manus, whose sole purpose has ever been for the progress and welfare of his fellow men. That is all.
Your call has been relayed from British Air Base. Relief ship on way. That's telling them, Bruce. <laughs> oh, boy, that's sure telling them. Good work, Bruce. Yeah. Thank you, Butterfield. Congratulations. At last, civilization seems to be on its way to find us. Well, Thank come you. on, let's go. Let's get out of here. They'll all be looking for come us. Come on, Master. Butterfield wants you come in Lost City. No, no. We no go in. You have nothing more to fear. Zolak has no more power. You show us, Big White. Doctor. Sure, it looks like the catacombs of Rome, don't it? It <laughs> surely does. <laughs> They're all mad, but I'll show them my power. <laughs> Big white doctor, come. Now he come. My children, the mad scientists of the lost city will torture you no longer. You must serve Butterfield well. He is a good master. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Menus. <laughs> I want to thank you, Dr. Manus, for being so kind to me. And you too, Mr. Butterfield. Where are you going? I'm going back to my people. Bye, Dr. Manus. Hi, Mr. Butterfield. Goodbye, Natchez. Goodbye. Bye, Bruce. Goodbye, Garzo. Bye, Jerry. Goodbye, Garzo. Bye. Wanna! Wanna! Look! Look! Big bird, come! 
Those planes are going to take us back home, my darling. Oh, well, I'd be glad to get there. Yes. You will go, but I... I stay in Africa. But why don't you go with us, Mr. Butterfield? Africa is my home. That's the end of that maniac, Zolak. And my mission is fulfilled. And the world will never realize what good you have done. I am proud of you, my son. And I am too, Bruce. Thank you.